Would you want to be in that place? Would you want anyone else to be in that place? Not even these animals. So why are they in that place? Because we demand for milk. And milk Everyone products. Everyone demands for milk. So do they. So do we, right? Well, not me because I understood this and I stopped. But I'm pretty sure there are many people like us who are not aware. Yes, I have. Because it comes from someone's sexual exploitation. It comes from female objectification. And moreover, who deserves that milk anyway? Not even their babies. Only their babies, right? And just some of it or 100% of it? 100%. So, how are we getting so much milk then? Either they are getting it or we are getting it, right? Precisely. What we do is, firstly, when the baby is born, there's a 50 50 chance they are going to be either males or females. Now, male is never going to grow up to give birth to produce it. So, is there any point in keeping him? So, what happens to him? They are either abandoned or are slaughtered in the first month of their life for their flesh, for their skin to make soft leather. The females, they are supposed to drink milk 12 times a day. But instead of them getting milk 12 times a day, we only let them have milk in the morning and the evening just so that the mother starts lactating. As soon as she starts lactating, we snatch the baby away from the mother. Okay? And we claim that this is extra milk, we take it, we put it in our chai and coffee, we make tea, butter, tea, honey, paneer, chaat and cream. And then it's the milk that we get instead of the milk. Even though it was their birth right? So what do you think is the solution for all of this? To continue what every... We that stop the milk right? Why not? Do you require milk to be healthy? Let's assume we required milk to be healthy. I don't think so. Yeah. But even if we were to assume that, whose milk do we need to be healthy? Human milk or cow milk? Human milk. But is that the case? Do we really require milk at this day and age? No. Any mother produces milk because they are babies and they are young, they don't have teeth, they cannot digest anything else. And that's the only reason why they produce milk. As soon as the babies grow teeth strong enough, their mother starts to stop producing. Right? So we really don't require milk. We do it out of habit, out of convenience because it is available. But we have no right upon it, right? So if theft is wrong, if, if sexual exploitation is wrong, if all of these things are immoral, should we continue it just because everyone else is doing or should we take the moral ground and say no to it? We can take the moral ground and say no to it for these now I do understand that because it has been our habits for so many decades now, it becomes difficult. But just because we are habituated to something, does not give us the right to continue doing the wrong thing. If you think giving up on milk is difficult, think of from the baby's perspective. Was it easy for that baby who had to go hungry or was murdered just because of our choices? Right? So when you think about this, what should we do on an individual level? I know this problem is massive and everyone is part of it. But on an individual level, what are the actions that we can take in order to solve this? We can stop consuming milk in our home. Yeah. Yes. And we have to stop and it's very good. Good. If, he, if he actually good. If he will be able yeah. to, uh, you know, enlighten everyone or share knowledge that, you know, this is not the right way to uh, get whatever important yeah. vitamins or minerals or whatever, you can find alternatives. Right? There clearly are alternatives and when you think about it, not the most logical point that I am going to make, but think of a cow or a buffalo. If they, without any knowledge, never going to school, can figure out how to get all the nutrients, can humans not figure out? All it takes is take out your phone and search for the internet like what are the various places will get the nutrients. It's not that difficult. When it comes to nutrients, if you specifically want milk, you can make milk at your home. You can soak oats and blend it with water or cashews or almonds or rice or hazelnut or there are too many different things that you can do at your own home in order to replace it. But the whole point is before thinking of replacement and all, we have to understand that someone is being exploited because of our demands and firstly we need to act upon it. Right? If something wrong is happening, first action should be to stop that wrong thing from happening and then figure out 
what are the alternatives, right? So do you understand the urgency of the situation? Yes. Do right. So what I would do is I'll share you one resource card. What I have done is I have compiled a bunch of documents on this slide, which talks more about the exploitation and why it is important to stop it. They all are available on YouTube. So do you want to look for the alternatives? I also mentioned some things. Do you need any help? Stopping this exploitation. To understand why we are doing all this, if you want to talk to a local group, I have put the information, the WhatsApp and Instagram. Make sure you go through it because this is a very important and urgent matter. Because every single time that we choose to consume animal products, with milk, honey, eggs, meat, or even animal derived products and services, someone is a victim. Just because of our choices, we could have chosen anything else. But because we did not, because we said that in the burger it's okay to add cheese, someone was exploited for that. And there is a circle of demand and supply. The more we demand, the more they are going to supply. The only way to stop that supply is by stopping our demand. Okay? Make sure you go through it. Okay? Thank you so much for your time.